Hello, friends and well-wishers. I greet you and congratulate you for seeing 2023. Happy New Year. I'm making this post as a member of the Presidential Campaign Council of the Labour Party, but targeted at Igbos all through the nation Nigeria. We have to preach to the Igbos who reside outside the Southeast to stay put wherever they reside. All these rumors of wars, attacks, are geared towards putting fear into the Igbos to live where they are. And that is not going to work. They want them to flee to the East and return after the elections. It's not going to work. This video is to speak boldness into our Southeast brothers and sisters to make them understand that who, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. There's no need. Do not try to make any attempt to stay out of where you reside because that's a design to reduce our numbers. We don't have to die many times before our death. Only a food does. Death will come when it will come, yes, but nobody's going to die. It is very critical, this election. I will stay put wherever we are. That's the only way 25% of votes in the 36 states of the Federation can be guaranteed for our brother Peter Obi. He rose from a man of the Southeast extraction to a national movement and consciousness. That we must accept. Now, let me bring some basic facts to you. From the facts released up by INEC, voter registration, at the time of the report I got, the Southeast has 10.5 million something votes. South South, 14.226 votes. Southwest, 17 point something. So, total for the South is 42 point something million votes. Voters registered, actually. North Central, 14.3 something million. North East, 12 point something million. North West, 21 point something million. Total for the North, 47 point something million. So, grand, tot grand total voter registration as released by INEC could be about 89 point something something million. Well, in the last update of the report which I got, the Southeast Igbo with PVC's residents, the Southeast Igbo with PVC residents is 10.5 million. The Southeast Igbo with PVC's residents in the 19 northern states plus Abuja, 12.8 something million votes. That's 27%. The Southeast Igbo with PVCs resident in South South, 6 point something million votes, 43%. The Southeast Igbo with PVCs resident in the Southwest, 6.5 million, that's 36%. Total Igbo population nationwide with PVCs is 36 point something something million votes. Now, this shows you the evil man, that there's no cause for alarm. Just do your own. Get your PVC. We are own problems when we keep on saying our votes will not count. Let us harness this and put them into effective view for our own benefit. We are not campaigning for our evil brother. He's been accepted by Nigeria. If he's accepted by Nigeria, we must not be the enemy. Forget about those who never spoke from the altar of God that uh, he's not going to win and said, are they God? They are not. That's a talk for another day. We can't allow people to put fear into us so that our children, our children, children will suffer. Perception could be reality, but it's not going to affect us. So their bill figure in relation to the evils must be kept one can see that from what I just read, the Southeast with PVCs nationwide are the highest in voter strength and spread. So there's no cause for alarm. Just cast your own vote. If we are well coordinated with our brothers in Kogi, Benway, uh, 
rivers, and Yoma, Kwaibom, and so on, Cross River. We're not counting on Igbo votes. We need others to win the elections. All Nigerians are already behind Mr. Pijobi. Let's not think that our votes uh, cannot count and therefore deny our brother Pijobi what he's supposed to get. So this message is to tell you, remain where you are resident. No shaking. There's nothing. If you are where you are resident, we'll achieve the 25% in partnership with our brothers and friends all over the nation. So please, any effort about our tax and so on, we die here, no shaking. We are Nigerians by birth and not by naturalization or by registration. We must reside anywhere we want in Nigeria and contribute to the growth of Nigeria. Long live our Ibro brothers, long live those who support goodwill, it's about Competence, capacity, is about integrity, is about a new nation that Nigeria, uh, Peter B has promised to fix. A new Nigeria is possible. Thank you very much and God bless.